All right, this is a rigging tutorial showing the RPG character animation pack being applied to the Cinti Studios fantasy character. So we're going to import everything and then also import the RPG character animation pack. So we're going to use the test zone RPG character from the super character controller. First thing we'll do, we'll bring in one of the characters from the Fantasy Characters Pack. We'll use this guy. Now let's bring in the prefab for the RPG character. And the RPG character also needs a target for look at and for strafing purposes so I'll use the target and then let's just bring in the camera as well delete the old camera so the camera is set to look at the player tag so we'll set that and now we're just going to go through the RPG character and copy all the components and then paste them onto our new character also set the animation controller to the RPG character animation controller. We'll continue copying these components. And don't forget to set the animated properties or copy paste. So when you copy the character control, it's going to it's going to bring in a bunch of other components as well. So you can just copy the properties and then paste the values in over the top of those. The perfect look at script is optional, so if you don't want to use it, you can just leave it off. And that also requires a target if you are going to use it. The IK hand is now basically integrated in and will automatically blend on and off any time your character is using two-handed weapons. So you need to set the left hand object. The attach left gets automatically updated so you don't have to worry about that. Adjust the character, the capsule collider for your character size. And then go to the super character controller, turn on debug spheres and then scale those as well and adjust their positions let's turn that off Go 1.4. This one will be 0.4. Last one, we'll just put halfway between. Okay, that's done. You can turn that off. And turn the capsule collider back on. So now we'll set the target for the character controller. Now we're going to copy all the weapons over from the RPG character to our new character. So we'll find the right hand. Just drag those over. 
and then go through and zero out all the properties. And then for now, we'll just roughly scale it and rotate each in a position. You can go back and more carefully reposition those. We'll do one of them later. Now we'll do the left hand weapons. And zero those out, scale them. So I didn't show the shield, which you'll also need to do the same for. Then you can just copy over the component and paste the values. And it should update all those automatically. So let's look through here. So now we're going to update the look at script, the look at bones. Again, if you don't want to use this, you can ignore this step. Also, you don't need to use all four bones if you want. You could do just two or even just one if you just want the character's head to turn. So copy those. Now we're looking at the orientation of the joint for each of these bones. For some reason they're all seem to be different. So let's update those. Okay, that's finished. So when you import all these animations in, you're gonna get these warnings. You can just clear that out. Don't worry about that. So the next step is to copy over the project settings for all the inputs and for the tags and layers. So we'll grab these, paste them into project settings. Get rid of that, we don't need that anymore. Now you need to go set the layer on your world. There we go. For any objects that don't have primitive colliders, you need to use the BSP tree script. Uh, let's change the camera here, Just bring it in a little bit closer. So you can see the character is basically working now. And you, the animations play, strafing is working. The deformations look good. Try the perfect look at. That looks okay. So the next step is to go and fine tune the position of all the weapons in your character's hand. So one way you can do this is do it at runtime, that way you can see the character's fist and make sure it looks positioned, the weapon looks positioned correctly while in that pose. So one way to do it is just to adjust the values in the inspector until you get it right. Okay, 
That looks pretty good. And then copy the component, stop the game, and then go and paste the transform values back in. So now that, that is set and looking good, let's go and adjust the IK point. So you can see the IK has already been blended on and it's already updating. On each of the two-handed weapons, there should be a first child that will be an attach point for the IK. And again, you can slow the game down in order to reposition this. Okay, right there. So now we'll copy the component again, stop the game, and paste the values. So you're going to want to go through each weapon, each two-handed weapon, and set the attach point like that. But after that, you can see it automatically blends the IK in. And it's right where you want it to be. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please email explosivellc at gmail.com.